not watches that ends up being a quest item that you need that's not protected from being purchased. Of course, because, <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't the uh, AMK team do something like that? Ah, man, it'd be so nice if these people actually had some equipment. So where can I go from army warehouses? Ah, pseudo dogs. I can take care of that quickly. Hmm, I don't know. I was honestly considering uh, maybe going to Yantar, but that's very far away at this point. I'd have to go through a couple levels to get there. Okay, you know what? I've got plenty of space, so I don't think it is too much of a bother to carry around this kind of a uh, loadout at the moment. I'm gonna give this gun a another try again. Maybe I'll swing by the border, see if I can get the uh, quest to pop up for defending the border. Maybe I can put the ACOG on it. Once again, and you know, it's just a matter of I'm gonna use it at close range, don't really need a scope on it. Of course, the same thing is true for the Gulag, and uh, there's a scope on that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was, I was willing to... try to last stand at Stalingrad that... Last stand at Stalingrad? Where the hell did that come from? But, uh, Lightning Chimera? No. <laughs> no. Seriously, where the hell did Last Stand at Stalingrad come from? Weird. No, I was swung around here because I was hoping it would have automatically started up a quest to, uh, you know, protect the border. But, alas, no such luck. And Cap, of course, has nothing. No money, nothing I need to buy. Just nothing. Alright, let's take care of these side quests. Who knows, maybe, just maybe, uh... Skinflint's, uh, loadout will have changed a little bit by the time I get uh, back. So I'm not sure if it's level change loading, level change in loading, or if it's uh, online, offline. <laughs> that causes, you know, best stash ever, by the way. That causes ch traders to change their inventories up. still find it bizarre that, uh, I'm not being given the quest to kill the snitch. Well, it doesn't look like a pack of pseudo-dogs. Seems more like a pack of bog-standard dogs. Yeah, see, that's the good thing about the FAMAS. It's a lot quieter. You know, it's a lot easier on the ears when you're blasting away. Both with headphones and with speakers, really. 
well, obviously more so with headphones. With speakers, it's more, you know. All right, I forgot that there was this much gore sitting up here. Ah, shit. I thought I saw a dog over there. And, of course, I'll just walk right through the same anomaly twice. Come on, dog. I hate when they do this. I mean, I've got a quest to kill dogs, and they just run away. Whoa. Oh, okay, it was a smoke anomaly I ran into. Okay. Thought, uh, from how bright it got, I thought I might have walked into a teleport. Whoa. Floating on top of something there. Whoa. Oh, sweet. I jumped the fence. Made it to the other side of the Twilight Zone. Now the question remains. Ah, yes, you can get back quite quickly. You can always get back in Night Springs. I suppose the good thing about having to keep my voice low is that, I don't know, my somewhat quiet voice like this does seems to lend itself toward, uh, things like that. Never noticed this detail before, by the way. The leaning tree on the cliff with the roots laying down. But yeah, my keeping quiet uh, voice really lends itself to, uh, I don't know, certain <clears throat> speaking roles. Okay, come on. Where's that dog? Don't worry, I'll just jump through the uh, power lines. That's... You know, the power lines that are very unsafely going through trees. Ah, what do we got over here? We've got a... burial mound. Looks like some dogs may have dug it up. Those careless bastards. Damn animals, no respect for the dead. And here we go. Looks like another easy way into the twilight zone of the Red Forest. A little bit of texture pop. Incomplete muddling, as you're not meant to be able to see this area. And power lines that lead to nowhere. And yeah, the exit to the dead city. And I'm just kind of running around now, because this... Until the uh, damn dogs go back to where they're supposed to be there's no real chance of being able to finish that quest. And here's the Bloodsucker Village. Another area that's back in Daybreaks. Wow, I've been running around all night. Yeah, Bloodsucker Village. Another area that... What, what's up with these uh, little details on this part? Like, they look like power line shadows or something. But yeah, Bloodsucker Village, another area that, back in the Alpha Build days, you know, it was in Yantar. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> That's where he went. That's where he went. I found the man that 
just kind of flew everywhere. That is amazing. That is just great. <laughs> okay, let's have some cold coffee because I let it get cold. Yeah. I also kind of burnt it when I reheated it. Okay, no way around here. So yeah, I'm probably just going to throw that coffee out. That's fine. That's fine. It's complimentary coffee. Doesn't matter. <gasps> yeah. Let's just run around a little bit more. Right, let's visit the loners up here. <clears throat> See what's going on in this little camp. Yeah, nothing. As usual, nothing really happening over here. Kind of a quiet place, at least when once a uh, Skulls gang is taken care of. Too bad you can't drive these vehicles. Okay. A completely not unusual uh, event. And look at that, it happened directly again. Okay, who do we got here? Yakut and Wolf. Doesn't seem like any other loners have decided to pop along and uh, replace Father Deodor and Smartass. You know, they were scum anyway. Well, at least Smartass was. Okay, Yakut, do you have any money? No. No. Not a penny. Right, well, uh. <laughs> I'll just. Fix up that little lightning damage there. Grab a fireball while I'm at it. Let's try again, see if the blind dogs have returned to their uh, starting locations. You know, just generally see if I can't uh, take care of things here finish off the side quest so I don't have to worry about it. And get a nice little stash over here in the corner. <coughs> in the uh, kitchen. Mm, yeah, I definitely have to wonder if you can only designate one place to sleep on the map. Because if not, I think those two beds should have, uh, should count. There we go. Job done. <laughs> of course, I'll just bounce off the cliff when I jump and get pushed into an anomaly. Right, let's get back to the Freedom Base. Ooh. Artifact. Let's grab that along the way. Stone blood. Alright, that's perfect. That's... Uh, Part of the symbian recipe, so I think I'll hang on to that. как собак неведанных. И все они лучше стариков знают.
didn't realize I had the uh, microphone off the entire time. <laughs> oh well. Uh, didn't actually mean to refuse the quest, but the military aren't even there anyway, so I suppose it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> hmm, I th thought it was Lukash that gave me that quest in the first place. Maybe it was Skinflint. No. Who gave me the quest to clear out the mutants? Veronin. Well, why would he want me to do something here? Right then, let's... let's, uh... I didn't check Skinflint's inventory. I can see if he's got anything that's going to be useful. <laughs> He's got his real fancy inventory out now. I didn't really want the mine, but okay. Do I even have my other mines? I think I set them somewhere uh, near the border, or the transition to the Red Forest, but I don't remember if that's actually where I put them, or... Either way... Mm, I gotta make some considerations here. Decent, but accuracy is too bad, and it loses condition really fast, so... Goodbye. 762 by 51? Couple uh, guns running that. That's, that's uh, not too bad. HK416. Tempted to pick something like that up, just for a little variety. Just to try a weapon using that caliber that's different. <sighs> this one's cheaper, though, so I'm going to try that instead. Now, did I buy the ammo already, or... Well, the, uh, marked one, what the hell, you're not supposed to equip it. At least not immediately. You know, pull it out, point it at the guy that just sold it to you. Not sure why he even sells this. You can't use it for anything. It doesn't even have the function it had in AMK Zadorovich edition where you could hear something. Anything at all. Okay, so iron sighted SBR. Doesn't look very iron sighted to me. In fact, it looks like it's got a scope. False advertising. I still can't believe that my load is this light. I mean, what exactly did I do to free it up like this? And we, we'll, um, let's start the Le Havre quest, uh, Line. Scumbag. I know what you are. I mean, look at you. You even look like an asshole.
Bolt. Okay, who is Bolt? Well, I suppose I should pull this up. Oh, fantastic. No information, so I just have to go on this. <sighs> Nearby, at the end of the road that leads to this base. So, Bolt? Leshi. Bolt? Ilya Curious. End of the road that leads to this base. Well, that's pretty vague, to be honest. And I really hope it's not the guy that was there on the corner. There in the spotlight, losing his religion. Uh, the, <laughs> the guy that was targeted by Veronin's quest. You know, the... Kill the stalker from freedom quest. Hmm. Animations are really not that bad. Could really do with a suppressor though, because this thing is loud. Annoyingly loud. I wonder if taking the quest to defend the border caused a bunch of these guys to spawn. So otherwise, I'm not sure why so many popped up so quickly. Yeah, that's where I put the mine. Because I thought it would kill the mutants as they came through, but of course not. Why would that happen? Why, oh why, would the mutants spawn on the other side of the fence rather than in the middle of the area that Freedom is trying to defend? Why would they do that? Huh, nice inventory guy. Just a single knife. I guess I need to turn in a side quest already. Since loading is costly to be successful. You know, right? Fair enough. Whatever. Give me a reward for doing nothing. Money for nothing. And the bullets for free. Alright. Completely cleared them out of jobs. I suppose the real thing I'm disappointed about with this is it's. Well, I mean, obviously there's a scope on it right here in the icon, but it says iron sighted, so uh, really I expected to have iron sights. No, instead it's just gotta be difficult. You could certainly use more of this ammo. And grenades. You know what? I'm going to places that involve explosions, so let's blow shit up. <gasps> yeah. So, uh, let, let's actually try to have a drink for this guy, because his dialogue seems to indicate that that is part of it. And it wasn't important at all, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna check the guide about Bullet, or Bolt, because he seems to not be here. <laughs>